Hi guys, Karen here. Today I have some new potting soil and I am going to pot up these Blue Lake 274 beans as well as the Sugar Daddy snap peas. I made it over to our garden center, um, the Durham Garden Center, and got this pot for $32.99. It's huge. As you can see, I'm having a difficult time tipping it over because I don't want it to break. Um, it's a terracotta pot, and this is about 20 inches in diameter, and it's really deep. And uh, this trellis I got from Lowe's for $8.00. And I picked up the peony at the Durham Garden Center and I'm gonna put it over in this area. So let's get into it. So in this pot, I'll be doing spinach. Also adding nosertiums all around the edges and the uh, snap peas. So let's get into it. So now I finished all of our dirt, poured it all in. Um, just gonna uh, not press it down, but you know, so it doesn't fall out the sides when it's watered. And now I'm just gonna add this trellis. I do want a larger trellis, but you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna work with this for, for right now. So the first thing I'm gonna add are the snap peas around the center area so that they can climb up this, tre this trellis. And this is what the beans look like. I did um, do this last year, but I put all of our beans in the raised beds. And what happened was the beetles came along um, in the heat of late spring, early summer, and they just started attacking the leaves of the beans. So this year I decided to um, put them in pots and then these beans, they're just not going in the soil. They wanna live their best life. <laughs> and um, so this year I decided let's try to add, um, to do this in a pot and see what actually happens. And that way I have better control over um, I bet I have better pest control if I just do it this way. So in this pot, come on, just go into the soil. Come on, guys, cooperate. So to this, I'll be adding the spinach because, as you know, the spinach um, works well with uh, the beans due to the nitrogen in the soil. And I'm going to also add nosertiums um, because... Um, the beetles prefer their leaves over the leaves of the snap peas. So I'm just putting these spinach uh, seeds in here. And I'm not too bothered. I don't mind everything growing together. As a matter of fact, I think it looks, it's just exciting to watch. Because, you know, the spinach is going to be protected from the heat by all of the beans growing above it. So now I'll be adding the nasturtiums to the edges. And this is uh, the trailing kind. I'm gonna add them to the outer edge here, all the way around. And um, you know, what I like about this is that everything in this pot is edible. So I don't have to worry about um, not touching certain leaves or whatnot. This is a fun little project. Um, the most expensive thing in this project was the pot itself um, at $32.99. But I will tell you, this pot was cheaper at the Durham Garden Center um, than it was at the big box stores. So check out your local um, garden centers um, for pots and things because you could really get a, get a um, better deal. Just gonna finish up these edges here. And to this, I just added some extra extra layer of dirt. And um, yeah. So now I'm going to add dirt to this pot and put in the Blue Lake 274 beans. Yeah. <laughs> 
and this is what they look like. I'm not adding any spinach to this because they're gonna sit right next to the other pot. And here they are, all finished. So now we're gonna tackle this area here. It gets quite a bit of sun during the day, so don't worry. This is gonna get a lot of sun over here, morning sun and then into early afternoon. Um, today was just kind of overcast. But over here, this is the peony. Um, if you followed last year, I did plant four peonies, um, but I did want to get another one for this area. So now in this area, we have the peony here, we have uh, lamb's ear, um, hellebores, flocks, irises, limelight, um, and pinky winky. And these are endless summer um, hydrangeas here. So this, this is a nice little area um, and I just hope it looks good. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today.